Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some StarMate action. Today I got a little bit of news to tell you and some drones. I've tried recording this video like five freaking times already. So uh, I'm going to go through this really quick or as quick as I possibly can because I'm sick of this video. Um, <laughs> so first off I'd like to say that I was recently partnered with TGN. Um, basically uh, that's a network for gamers of course you know or you may or not, you may or may not know in order to get like actually anywhere with a gaming channel you have to partner with a gaming network because they have the legal rights to produce that content so in the future that means i'll be able to play different types of games and more games things like battlefield the new battlefield that's coming out of course and like you know the elder scrolls online basically i just get to jump in on that shit and play it without having to get some sort of like formalized like st like contract that says i can do that shit so it's very good. My channel is going to expand in the future like I always planned it for it to do. It, it was never meant to be uh, only uh, meant for like Minecraft and Star Made and indie games and stuff. So uh, I won't stop playing Minecraft, I won't stop playing Feed the Beast, and I won't stop playing Star Made. Uh, just letting you know that in the future you may see a different type of video come out once in a while or more often than uh, even these videos. I, I don't really know. It depends on the game I'm playing. Uh, I hope you stick around for that stuff because I know a lot of my subscribers are here for Minecraft stuff. I can't play Minecraft forever, it's just, yeah, I can't play Star Made forever. I, I have to be able to play a variety of things. That being said, um, let's get on with the uh, other stuff, uh, which would be uh, this video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you all the drones that I uh, showed off in my uh, 500 subscribers special. Um, just so you know, I am up to 800 subscribers or more already. Um, I could be up by, to like 900 by now. I, I have no idea. But uh, regardless, we're going to be going over um, all these drones today. There's four factions. Um, not like in-game factions. These are just the factions from the drones. Uh, this is all EVE Online drones. Like I said uh, before, I take all my inspiration from EVE Online, at least in this game, because this is all about making spaceships, and I can't really design a spaceship on my own yet. I mean, I could, but like, it would take me too long. I, I don't know. I don't want to deal with like making my own thing when I can look at a picture and make something else, because I think that's more fun. That's at least what I think. Um, so we have the four factions uh, and all their drones um, from EVE Online. Uh, so here we have the Amar, the Kaldari, the Galente, and the Minmatar. Uh, they all have their uh, weaknesses and uh, uh, like bonuses as well as um, all that stuff. So we're going to start off with the Amar. Uh, and uh, over here we have um, the Amar Imperial Empire or whatever. Uh, basically they're like a religious empire. Um, and they have like really sleek ships and stuff and they look pretty cool there. Ships are supposed to be like white and gold. Uh, I can't really do that so I used white and brown. That's just about as close as I could get. The yellow is too yellowy and not enough goldy. Um, if anything this looks like bronze or like something like that or copper even. So I mean I think I'd rather just use brown than yellow because the yellow is like brighter than the yellow on that engine. It's just ugly. Um, in fact, you could see it up there on the, uh, the Venture that I have still yet to complete, and it is just, like, too bright to be gold. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be showing you pictures uh, as I go through this, and uh, I'm going to show you... Uh, I have found out a way to get rid of that full screen. Uh, tab plus G, in case you don't know. Um, press Tab and G. Gets rid of your HUD. So here we have the prototype for the uh, Alkalite first uh, attempt at building a ship uh, or one of the ships um, turned out a little bit bigger than it was supposed to be uh, so this is the actual Alkalite one here's the Alkalite oh that was definitely a server save um, I apologize if my voice just got fucked up there um, here we have the Alkalite one the Alkalite 2 which has a different color scheme and the Imperial Navy Alkalite um, now I will say this right now I hope you can follow this there are four different types of drone, right? The first row, right here, with the Alkalites in it, is um, Light Scouts. The second row, all the way down, is Medium Scouts. These guys over here that are undocked are Heavy Attack Drones. And the ones right here are Sentry Drones, these really big-ass ones with the prongs sticking out of them. Um, they're all four different types. Uh, basically, it goes like... 
uh, like, like, like their name suggests, these guys are light, these guys are medium. Uh, the ones that, that are undocked are heavy attack drones, and of course the ones in the middle, I'll get to in a minute, um, they're sentry drones, basically they're stationary, uh, like turrets, kind of. Um, also, <laughs> see this is where it gets compli complicated, um, there are also different versions of each drone, uh, which is why I said that there's uh, the Alkalite 1 and the Alkalite 2 and the Imperial Navy issue Alkalite. Basically, Tech 1 versions of these ships uh, correspond to the color schemes that are in EVE Online, um, as well as the others. Uh, Tech 1 has regular armor. Tech 2 has uh, hardened hull, uh, so it's upgraded armor. It's basically more durable. And uh, Tech 3 actually has uh, adjusted weapon systems and potentially more um, like shielding or thrusters or anything, just to give it a little bit more uh, of an, uh, I guess, um, bonus to its overall stats. Uh, it's nothing crazy. As you can see here, this one has, I do believe, one extra shield block. Yeah, it has three in the front instead of two. Um, uh, also, just real quick, the Amar ships are known for having or using armor instead of like anything else, like shields and stuff. So they have lots of armor, from what I understand. Don't quote me on that. Um, they also uh, have... I believe low hitting weapons, low damage weapons, but they're pretty fast ships. Um, now with these drones, I can't guarantee you that that's true. Um, and when it comes to speed, uh, there is a set speed limit for every single ship in this game. Uh, the only thing that uh, is different is the thrust, which uh, equates to acceleration. Um, so I can't guarantee you that the acceleration on these ships are faster than other ships but uh, they are supposed to be faster. And when we get to bigger ships for the MR, uh, they will have faster thrusters. Um, so that's the uh, Alkalite. Moving on, we have the, um, I believe this is the, uh, oh God, I don't even know what it is. What is this? Infiltrator. Okay, so this is the Infiltrator, Tech 1, the Infiltrator 2, and here's the uh, Imperial Navy Infiltrator. Hopefully you get to see those pictures that I'm throwing up on the screen. We're going to skip the sentry drones real quick. Here, uh, if you ignore the fact that like three blocks are missing, this is the uh, Amar Praetor 1. Here's the Praetor 2. And at the end we have the Imperial Navy Praetor. Um, these two sentry drones are the uh, Curator 1 and the Curator 2. Um, just like to note something about this is the fact that uh, in order to get into some of the drones uh, you'll have to delete this little plex door and the reason I did that is because obviously I don't want to throw the core of the freaking ship on the outside of the armor so I do apologize if that's like an annoying little tidbit that you have to deal with but basically you get in here right and uh, let me turn on the HUD and then you go to the AI config you turn on the AI um, and that's just about it. And then when you get off the thing, you can uh, go back down and replace that plex door. I'd also like to note that you have to move these and attach thrusters yourself and then put them into position and then they're ready to uh, attack because um, these things are supposed to be stationary so they don't fly off. Um, and they're a little bit more powerful than the average drone. Um, can't guarantee you that they're like super dope, gonna fuck shit up, um, but that's their purpose is to be like this really big sentry drone um so that's the amar ships here are the kaldari ships here uh, you can see the prototype i did for the um the hornet like i said this is before i found out the actual dimensions just so you know all of these ships are to scale sorry about that i was waiting for the server spike to end because i hate that it fucking messes up my voice every time so, uh, you can see that this is obviously quite bigger than the actual version, um, which is right here. I don't actually like this uh, as much as I like this. This one is way more interesting looking. It's got like things sticking out the end, it's got better shapes. Um, that's kind of stuff that I'll be paying attention to in bigger builds. Um, but even in the small builds, you can find a way to make it look a little bit better. So here's the Hornet 1. Let me turn off GUI. Here's the Hornet 2. 
and uh, here's the uh, Kaldari Navy Hornet. In case you're wondering, the Kaldari is like a bunch of mega corporations, all like conglomerate crushed together into like this like supposed like nation. Um, and basically that's how they operate. That's why their ships are all just like um, very uh, simple and very sleek and like they kind of are, their ships are very strange looking and you'll see that when I start building the like the large frigates because they are just fucking all over the place with that shit. Um, I like them but they're very strange. Um, over here we have the Vespa. This is the Vespa 1. It's the Vespa 2 and that's the uh, Imperial or Kaldari Navy Vespa. Uh, I'd also like to note that the Kaldari Navy has like a, a really bad camo pattern that I can't replicate on such a small pa uh, scale. Because uh, this, if I did, then this entire thing would just be a whole bunch of different colors, like dark blue and black and gray and white. And I can't do that, so I just stuck with gray for this one. Um, although it should probably be white. Down here we have the ugliest freaking drone that I've ever ba made, and I don't even know what the heck they were thinking. See, this is what I'm talking about. The Kaldari have some really weird shaped stuff, um, and you'll... Like I said, you'll totally see that in the future when I build their frigates. Their frigates are all over the place with, like, weirdness. Um, so we have uh, the Wasp 1, the Wasp 2, and uh, the uh, Kaldari Navy Wasp. Very strange ships. Uh, up here we have the uh, their two sentry drones, the Kaldari Warden 1 and the Kaldari Warden 2. Um, so that's that. Uh, over here we have the Galente. Oh, I forgot to tell you the racial stats about these guys. For the most part, they're, um, I believe they're, uh, pretty slow. These are sh pretty slow ships. However, they have pretty high damage. Um, can't guarantee you that's what my ships are capable of doing. I did try and do that with the weapons configuration stuff, uh, by pressing the, the T menu and configuring all the antimatter cannons. Um, they also are supposed to rely heavily on shields, and you'll definitely see that in future ships. Uh, they'll have lower amounts of armor and lots of shielding. Um, moving on, we have the uh, Galente. This is like a, a, an actual democracy or something in space. All their ships are very bulbous. Their ships are... I don't know if they're heavily armored, but they're very bulky. And they're also very slow, which indicates that they have a lot of armor, but I could be wrong. And they also do the most damage out of all the ships. And I think they actually do the most damage in my drone versions um, of all the ships. So that's pretty cool that I was able to translate that uh, actually into the, the design of these ships. Here we have the Hobgoblin 1, the Hobgoblin 2, and the Federation Fleet Hobgoblin, or Federation Navy Hobgoblin. Um, as you can see, these colors are very vivid for a spaceship. Uh, in the future, I might be making my own texture pack where I change it so that they're a little bit dull or a little bit more darker and not so vivid and vibrant. Um, can't guarantee you that I'll do that, but I totally think I will, and it's not that hard to change that in the texture pack. Um, so I think I will, uh, and you can get it if you want, or you cannot if you want. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's just a heads up. I might make my own texture pack. It won't be a, uh, anything major, uh, at least not to start off with. Here we have the Hammerhead 1, the Hammerhead 2, and the uh, Federation Fleet, or Federation Navy Hammerhead. Pretty dope. They're two sentry drones, uh, very unique compared to the other ones. They actually have two gun barrels, uh, although I only could fit one, like, conjoined gun barrel. Uh, so that's the uh, Guard 1 and the Guard 2. Pretty cool. Down here is one of the best looking drones that I made, which is the Ogre. And it actually is big enough where I was able to get enough detail in it, into it. And it actually looks pretty close to what the actual ship looks like. Oh, that was definitely another lag spike from the server saving, so I apologize. Um, it looks pretty cool. If you take looks at, a look at the uh, Ogre drone from in-game, uh, it's pretty similar to the design I got here. Uh, that's the Ogre 1, the Ogre 2, and the uh, Federation Navy Ogre. Lastly, we have the Minmitar, and basically the Minmitar are uh, a republic. They have um, very strange and somewhat crappy looking ships. I'm not going to say that they're crappy looking, it's just that 
when you first glance at it, it looks as if it's a crappy ship. And the reason is because they're so, like, like weird and, like, they're all just, like, random like chunks of metal stuck to each other and like there's a whole lot of struts on their ships there's also these glass fins that make them really unique from any ship i've ever seen uh which i really like the, sh the fins and stuff on these ships are pretty cool um they're also very exposed as you can see a lot of the systems on these ships are exposed and there isn't really a lot to cover them up from what i understand they do not have a lot of armor they don't use a lot of shields and their weapons are actually really weak but they have very fast speed and very high tracking. I can't really convey EVE Online tracking into this game uh, other than increasing weapon speed and weapon distance. Uh, if you followed that, congratulations, because like I have a feeling everything I'm saying is just hard to understand if you haven't played EVE. Um, basically, in order to like attack a ship in EVE Online, you have to lock onto it, and that's called tracking. Um, and like smaller ships are harder to track. Um, so obviously increasing the accuracy of the guns that I used on these ships uh, would supposedly mean that they're able to uh, attack a ship more effectively and quickly and uh, theoretically that would be their version of tracking in this game. Um, that's the best I could do with that. Um, but that's uh, as I understand it, how that worked out uh, in EVE Online and this game. So we have the warrior uh, prototype that I did. Uh, you may have seen it in the past, I don't think you did, but it's like twice the size of the actual ship, the warrior. Um, so here's the warrior one drone, <laughs> big difference. The warrior two, and uh, the Republic fleet warrior. That's the, uh, the Navy issue. Uh, back here we have another ugly ship, uh, the uh, is this the Valkyrie? Yep, the Valkyrie. I do like the tri-wing thing that they have going on at the end, but again, eh, it's uh, it's a little strange compared to the actual picture. Uh, it's a little bit off from what it's supposed to look like. Um, that being said, uh, I did the best I can. And keep in mind, these are all to scale, um, down to like the best I could do with proportions. Not that proportions really mattered on these smaller ships. And uh, of course, here's the uh, Republic fleet warrior or valkyrie and that's uh valkyrie 2. uh the uh sentry drone actually came out really good uh i like the way this looks uh this is uh the what's it called the bouncer uh bouncer one and uh the bouncer two i just like to note that the colors on each individual ship like uh the tech one version and the tech two version in the republic fleet issue version are so similar that it's really hard to like make a difference uh, in the looks and the color schemes i tried uh can't really do anything because this is like a dark brown this is a light brown but in star made there's only one like brown color so i tried the best i could uh, i do think that the uh the republic fleet issue the special uh faction issue drones and ships for the Minmatar have green camo but it's very faint and it's like a mix between green and brown it's like olive uh i don't know if that's true but uh i did look at the berserker and uh it did seem to have a green camo on it in case you're wondering uh this is the berserker their heavy attack drone that's the berserker one this is the berserker two and that's the federation no Republic Fleet Berserker. So that's it for the drones. Um, those Berserkers at the end look pretty cool, along with some of the other ones. Uh, that's all I have really to show you for now. As you can see, I'm still not finished with any of the ships that I showed you in my 500 subscriber special. I'm busy making my uh, server map for the Minecraft server that'll be uh, helping uh, get going and stuff and potentially be joining as an admin. I don't know if I'll have time for it, but I'm definitely going to try. Uh, here we have... Oh, fuck. Another one of those goddamn server saves. Um, here we have uh, some shuttles, and uh, I'll just go over these real quick. This is a Minimitar shuttle. You may or may not recognize it. Obviously, it's not completed yet. And here is the uh, Amar shuttle. I'll be um, finishing these really soon. They're not too hard to build. I just haven't had time to do stuff on it. Uh, up here we have the Venture. You may or may not recognize this as well. Uh, this one is uh, incomplete still, but I'll be finishing that eventually. I uh, just got other stuff going on, like I said. Back here, though, 
this is actually a really easy ship to build because it's like easy shapes and there's not a lot of extra detail that I have to fit in, at least not on these big sections. So if you recognize the ship, kudos for you. This is the um, Kaldari Badger. It's a transport ship and I think it's the smallest transport ship for the Kaldari race. I could be entirely wrong. However, I do know that this is a transport ship for the Kaldari. It's very small. I don't know if it's the smallest transport ship, but there you go. Uh, and it's massive. People don't realize how fucking big the ships are from EVE. I mean, this thing is almost four football fields long. One of these sections, this section right here, 87 meters. This uh, section right here, over 100 meters. And uh, each section... The section for the engines and the uh, the bridge in the front is about uh, almost 100 meters as well. It's 390 meters long. That's a measurement taken directly from uh, in EVE Online itself. Uh, if we get inside, you can see just how big this thing is. How much room it is. And I'll go all the way down to the bottom. You can just see. It's absolutely mind-blowing how big these ships are. What's also um, kind of funny about this ship is... Um, the, the Venture, which is the yellow one outside, holds 5,000 cubic meters of ore. Um, so let me just show you real quick. The Venture, which is that small ship right there, that's a frigate, holds 5,000 cubic meters of ore. This massive transport vessel only holds, I believe it's, um, what, 7,000? I could be wrong. Let me look it up. No, it holds less. 4,125 meters cubed of uh, random stuff that you should throw in there. I think that's kind of absolutely ridiculous. This little ship can hold more ore in game than this big ass transport vessel. Uh, to be honest though, that kind of does make sense and uh, I'll tell you why. Um, inside a transport vessel like this, uh, if the doors are up here, but the storage space is down there, you're going to have to have all of this room up top be for, like, machinery and probably piping and conduits and all sorts of stuff. There might have to be, like, a refrigeration unit, so there's going to be, like, cooling units installed or heating units even. Um, you know, they're going to have to supply power to preserve whatever they're transporting. Um, and they're also going to have to be able to move it around inside the ship. So there could be cranes up here and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the insides of this thing. Is There's going to be the um, the large storage dumps on the bottom and along the sides. And there's going to be rails along the edges where these purple uh, blocks are that have like um, movable like uh, cranes or transport things that like some little like uh, platform that moves along the edge and like loads things into like uh, all the bins on the bottom. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think it's a pretty good idea. Um, I like the way it's going so far. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to show you that before we, uh, anything else. I'll be going over this in a completely separate video as well as the uh, Tech 2 version, which is the, um, the crane. That looks pretty cool. It's black and red instead of gray and white. Um, so I'll show you that when I'm finished with that. Uh, for now, though, that's all I have to say. So comment, rate, favorite, subscribe. Tell me what you think of all my lovely drones, all like 30 of them. There will be a link in the description for you to download them all, of course, uh, for you lovely peoples. Um, and uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, click the link at the end of the video to watch some of my other stuff, and I'll see you guys later. playing star made uh, just letting you know that in the future you may see a different type of video come out once in a while or more often than uh, even these videos I, I don't really know it depends on the game I'm playing uh, I hope you stick around for that stuff because I know a lot of my subscribers are here for Minecraft stuff I can't play Minecraft forever it's just yeah I can't play star made forever I, I have to be able to play a variety of things that being said um, Let's get on with the uh, other stuff, uh, which would be uh, this video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you all the drones that I uh, showed off in my uh, 500 subscribers special. Um, 
just so you know, I am up to 800 subscribers or more already. Um, I could be up by, to like 900 by now. I, I have no idea. But uh, regardless, we're going to be going over um, all these drones today. There's four factions. Um, not like in-game factions. These are just the factions from the drones. Uh, this is all EVE Online drones. Like I said uh, before, I take all my inspiration from EVE Online, at least in this game, because this is all about making spaceships, and I can't really design a spaceship on my own yet. I mean, I could, but like, it would take me too long. I, I don't know. I don't want to deal with like making my own thing when I can look at a picture and make something else, because I think that's more fun. That's at least what I think. They have the legal rights to produce that content. So... In the future, that means I'll be able to play different types of games, some more games, things like Battlefield, the new Battlefield that's coming out, of course, and like, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online, basically, I just get to jump in on that shit and play it without having to get some sort of, like, formalized, like, st like, contract that says I can do that shit. So, it's very good, my channel is going to expand in the future, like I always planned it for it to do, it, it was never meant to be, uh, only... Uh, meant for like Minecraft and Star Made and indie games and stuff. So uh, I won't stop playing Minecraft, I won't stop playing Feed the Beast, and I won't stop. Hello, once again, YouTube. Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Made action. Today I got a little bit of news to tell you and some drones. I've tried recording this video like five freaking times already so uh, I'm gonna go through this really quick or as quick as I possibly can because I'm sick of this video um, <laughs> so first off I'd like to say that I was recently partnered with TGN um, basically uh, that's a network for gamers of course you know or you may or not you may or may not know in order to get like actually anywhere with the gaming channel you have to partner with the gaming network because um, so we have the four factions uh, and all their drones um, from EVE Online. Uh, so here we have the Amar, the Kaldari, the Galente, and the Minmatar. Uh, they all have their uh, weaknesses and uh, uh, like bonuses as well as um, all that stuff. So we're going to start off with the Amar. Uh, and uh, over here we have um, the Amar Imperial Empire or whatever. Uh, basically they're like a religious empire. Um, and they have like really sleek ships and stuff and they look pretty cool there. Ships are supposed to be like white and gold. Uh, I can't really do that. 